How's it going everybody? Super Duper Guy here, going to show you how to quickly do the nuke silo. The only requirement is you just need power armor, and the other requirement is you have to have uh, three in lockpicking and three in hacking, or you can just quickly equip the Master Infiltrator Legendary Perk. Uh, without further ado, let's go in. So typically what you want to do first is you want to fabricate an ID. How to fabricate an ID is you just want to look for a blue card. Typically find one there, and if it's not there, one right here. And if it's not there, there tends to be one underneath this pillow. Alright, with the fabricated ID, we're just going to erase the current ID on the card. Okay, and with the ID now blank, we're going to fill it with our own credentials. So we're going to go to the opposite side of the, uh, the silo. And this is the medbay area. We're going to quickly kill these robots so they don't kill us when we end exit our power armor. Uh, then you enter the biometric scanner. Alrighty, and once the biometric scanner is done, we're going to fabricate our ID and we can get past the lasers. Alrighty. Uh, in case you guys are wondering why I don't take damage to this entire thing, it's because I have a vampire's weapon and I run Ricochet. So what happens with that is every time something shoots me in ricochet procs, I actually get healed instead of uh, getting damage taken. Alright, so now we're just going to go fabricate our ID in the biometric system. Uh, once again, it's located in the, like, the exact opposite. And now we have a biometric ID card. And with the ID card, we're just going to go over to this machine. Scan it. That'll deactivate the lasers. Lasers are here. Then we're going to be in this hallway, and then we just go to the opposite side of the hard way. And this is like really easy, um, anyone can do it, and it probably just takes a couple minutes to do it. I know there are other methods that you hack through walls and all of that, but this is just easier for like everyone to do. And it's pretty brain dead, once you do it once you'll master it. Alright, so now we're in the reactor room, instead of repairing it, we're just going to shut it off. To do that, you just go over this locked door. Well, typically this door is locked with a plus three. Uh, and then you lockpick it. And then you go over to this terminal. And typically you just hack this terminal. Seems somebody already beat me to it. And then once it's in, you just simply uh, override the security, and then this door will open. Alrighty, so once that's said and done, you just want to exit your power armor, or if you're not even wearing it, pick it up. Oh, well, something's hurting me. Hello, Mr. Lead Engineer. Goodbye. Alright, so then we're going to take out our power armor chassis, like so. And this is a little bit of a power armor glitch to where you just land uh, right here. And then you can use your scroll wheel, and using scroll wheel, you can put it back and forth. You're just going to scroll wheel up until it's just, just beyond the boxes, like so. And then when it spawns, you'll be able to enter it. And then you bypass this little gapway. Alrighty, and then you just head down the hallway into the red room. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and to the left, up the stairs. And voila, you are in the defense room, and that only took about like three minutes or so, so simple, easy as that, nice and easy way to get the silo done. Hopefully this video helped. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, this channel is basically striving to help people like get better at the game, or, you know, finding new things and new tricks. Uh, so yeah, then you would just do the trail or the countdown. You can go to NukaCrack or NukaCrypt.com to get the new codes, and uh, yeah, hope everyone has a super duper day. Bye.